Yep, they did. Oh my gosh. This is absurd. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today, we are going to be searching our own Emerald Coast map for the very first time, as I've spent all my time in multiplayer as of now. And I figured it was time we finally search our own map and take a look at what we've got here. If you guys watched the uh, first to a diamond challenge, you will remember me saying that Brober helped me unlock all the map by placing all of the tents down at the outpost. And uh, I went ahead and got all of the uh, lookout towers while playing multiplayer during one of the live streams and also during that video as well. So we do have the map fully unlocked. However, I have not searched my own map at all. Hence the uh, no hunting pressure and no need zones at all. So let's get out there and see if we can find anything crazy. We're going to start out by hunting my favorite hotspot, which is right along here. Now, the primary reason that we are going up here is because this area is a Rusadir hotspot with a lot of other stuff as well. Uh, you can run across the crocodiles as they do have their uh, zones very, very close in this water right here. You can also find hog deer zones and uh, feral pigs as well and the occasional quail. It's a really good place to search for trophies. I believe there's also a few red fox here and there, but not nearly as many of them. There is also a pretty good chance that this could be an insane money-making location, and uh, we're going to cover that a little bit further down in the video. So stay tuned for that, because you will not want to miss it. Oh my god. Literally the first male Rusa I find is a piebald. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? And this is... That's kind of the whole reason we're doing this video anyway, is because I ended up getting a piebald during one of the recent live streams. You know, I, I didn't expect to find another one. <laughs> That's insane. That is absolutely insane. And this is a different pattern as well. Well, I, I guess we're going to have to get this guy down and try to make a good shot on him. He is resting. We're going to have to shoot up in the air as he is kind of close. My luck on Emerald Coast has been absolutely insane in this part of the map. We've had multiple troll roosted here as well as a piebald over the last uh, few days uh, during the live streams. So it's been a pretty good spot. We've been hunting a lot of this area in multiplayer. And uh, this is the first time we've been on my map hunting here. So I figured there'd be something, but I didn't think we'd find a piebald like instantly. But I highly recommend checking this area out if you guys have not already. It seems like a lot of the big roosted here end up over in here for some reason resting and uh, feeding so definitely worth checking it out if you haven't already it is an absolute hot spot and it seems like it's been like that ever since early access this is also where we found three trophies pretty much side by side in early access so it's definitely a gold mine for literally everything Rusidir, fox and all the other species that i mentioned earlier it's a really good spot and uh, we just showed that once again with a beautiful piebald Rusadir. I do believe this is a little smaller than the other piebald I have. If I'm not mistaken, this is slightly smaller, but, you know, I really can't complain because that's still insane. That is so cool. And actually, now that I think of it, I guess this was not the first male that we saw. We did see another group of uh, Rusadir that did have a male in it, and a few females along the way as well, but, man, it was, it sure was close to being the first thing that we saw. You know, something that I have noticed about uh, the Rusadir is they seem to give you a lot of level 5s and big level 4s, but they very rarely actually give you diamonds. At this point, I think I've been trolled like 4 or 5 times by a Rusadir in multiplayer, and it's getting kind of ridiculous. I'm hoping one of these days... <sighs> Are you kidding me? I... <laughs> Are you kidding me? What is going on today? Well, I don't expect this to make it. I've been trolled by every single gray kangaroo that we've found. This hunt has just been going insane. This is crazy. Let me know in the comments if you've been having hunts like this as well, because it seems like literally every time I go to this part of the map on every single server that I've been on, it's just a gold mine for max level animals and rares and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys have had the same experience because this spot seems to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, let's try to get this guy to move. And see if we can get a good shot on him. And there we go. That is a dead kangaroo. 
Let's hope this guy makes it. I got trolled twice in early access, so if this guy can make it, that'd be amazing. Uh, this is already shaping up to be the best hunt that I've been on for Emerald Coast, and we've literally just started. Oh, no. Well, things are about to go down. Yeah, that's what you get for charging me. That's right. You know, I 100% expected to find at least something today because this area is always just so loaded with animals to where it's almost impossible to not find at least one good thing. Uh, but I didn't think we'd find them literally at the beginning of our run. I mean, we still have this entire area to search and usually I don't find anything till about halfway through, but it looks like today we're getting them early and that's a troll. Yeah, I expected that. I expected that. That's a really bad troll. That's the thing with the uh, Eastern Grey Kangaroo as well. Just like the Rusa, they make max level a lot, but they rarely make diamond. And the trend continues of us getting screwed over by kangaroos. Luckily, the kangaroos are not the main focus of the day. I'm more interested in the Rusa deer. So hopefully we can end up finding a diamond Rusa deer. That is my goal. And I'm hoping that because of the fact that we've never searched through this area, that we should be able to have a good chance at finding one. But I mean, we just found a piebald, so I feel like our luck has already been used up. And you know what, since we've been mentioning the pie ball that I got in the uh, live stream, but haven't actually shown it off, I guess we should probably do that. So without further ado, let's take a look at a couple of the trophies from that live stream, because it wasn't just a pie ball of Rusa. We also did get trolled like three or four times by Rusa deer and hog deer and stuff. So let's uh, go ahead and show off all those trophies, including the pie ball. Oh, is that a five? That's a five goat. That's a five goat. Uh, or as we like to call them, trolls. You got to pay the troll toll. That is likely a troll. Yeah, that's the rack that kind of points up a bit. That's a troll. Gotta be a troll, dude. There's no way it's not. All right, buddy, move for me. Move your body. Rock your body. Everybody. Everybody. Whoa, whoa why are you moving? You told him to move. Okay, I didn't mean move that much. I've literally been singing to him. Of course he's going to move. Smoked him. Yeah, he's going down. Barrel goats are such tanks, though. What'd you use? 243 handgun. Mm. They are such tanks, though. It took like a full two to three seconds for him to even lose a lick of health. That's awesome. Yeah, this won't make it. 200.50 <laughs> troll feral goat wow dude the black brown looks even better than it used to though look at that holy okay i see the rework a little bit more now look at how it's got like the black on its belly now that is really good looking okay i i see it now is a piebald white-tailed deer rare yes it definitely is all of the piebalds are rare Except for Mallard Duck. Mallards are that... the only piebald that is not rare. I was just thinking about that. That's probably kind of... Ah! Oh, piebald Rusa! Yes! No way. Oh my gosh, it's a big four! No Oh way. my gosh, piebald Rusa! No. Nah. Dude! Man, speak of the piebalds and they shall appear. Yes! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is my dream piebald. This is my dream piebald for this map. Oh my gosh. This is what I wanted to get out of multiplayer. Is that right there? Oh, that's so gorgeous, man. Distance is 150 exactly. He's down. We got him. Is that a five? No way. Okay, no, that's a four. I was, I was going to say, I swear to God, if there's a five next to him, but it's just a big four. That thing's got no chance of diamond. I feel like there, have, oh there hasn't gosh. really been a true hot spot since that since Rancho release. And there was that one Dude. <laughs> really good hot spot. Do you remember that thing? That was such a good I spot. I do. That spot was great. Dude, 118.60 gold scoring piebald Rusa. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That's awesome. This is my favorite trophy I've got off of Australia. <laughs> wow, that is so beautiful. Is this one of the patterns that Jaxi showed off? 
he said there was one that he wasn't going to show off. Is this the one that he showed off or is this one of the ones he didn't? Oh my gosh, either way, that's uh -huh. beautiful. Well, you know what? You win some, you lose some. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, couldn't make diamonds, so. Oh, man. Uh, you guys have no idea what pain that means. You guys have no idea how much pain I am in from that and plus the other thing. <sighs> Wait, that was a five hog deer? Really? Did I spot a five hog deer and not realize it? Can I have it? I'm no, just kidding. Wait, did I? Did I think it was a Rusa? I, I totally thought it was a Rusa, didn't I? Where is it, guys? Where is it? Where is it? I thought I was. I thought everything here was Rusa deer. Oh, you just pulled the biggest Robra move. I did. I just spotted a bunch of Rusas, and I just kept spotting stuff. And I was like, ah, yeah, all these are small. It's just like my level three. Uh, well, I didn't look. I didn't look at the here. level, though, and I'm looking at the racks, right? When I'm spotting the Rusas, I just look at the antlers. I don't look at the level because. I know that if I see a specific rack, then it's probably a five, right? If it's any rack smaller than that, then I don't even bother looking at the level. What idiot spots and so a I didn't know. potential animal doesn't look at the level? I know, right? Oh, that's him. That's got to be him. Yeah, that's him. Five medium hog deer. That's him right there. Nice. Go broadside for me. Come on, buddy. Smoked him. I don't know if they troll very often. We'll see. Thank you guys for pointing that out. I did not realize what I was looking at because I had spotted so many small Rusa deer that were the same, about the same size of antlers. Not gonna lie, I think it's too small. That looks smaller than my early access diamond. Unless, like, maybe it's wider. It's a troll. No. <laughs> by less than two points. It's like, oh. it's a troll by like 1.1 1. 1 points. Five Are medium you? Uh, axis deer. No way. What? Yeah. What's going Look at on? that one right now. Dude, Emerald Coast is like insane with the diamonds and the trolls. You know, before I discovered that this part of the map was so loaded with Rusa deer, I really thought that it was going to be impossible for me to get any Rusa deer trophies because their drink times are just so terrible. They drink at like 20 to 0 and they get to their drink zones incredibly late. So I for sure thought that we were going to get screwed over and just never get the piebald Rusa deer. And it was my dream trophy to get off of Emerald Coast and now we've got two of them. So. Things have worked out very well. All I can really ask for now is um, the other rares and a diamond, and then we'll have everything that I need for the Rusa deer. Um, I'm trying to remember what other rares they have. I don't know if they've got albino or if they've got leucistic. I think they have leucistic for sure. Not sure about albino and mela. Haven't seen anybody post them, but I guess they could exist as well. But as we go along, we're going to kill off as many of these level 4 Rusa deer as we can in hopes of eventually getting a level 5 respawn. This area seems like it's going to be one of those spots that you can honestly do an entire grind through. This is probably going to be a very fun grind that doesn't require any tents. And honestly, you just run around and shoot any Rusa deer you see. And you can make pretty good time on, I guess, like the amount of them that you're killing in a short amount of time. It's not bad. It is surprisingly a very good way to grind. So if you're someone who isn't a big fan of the current grinding meta of placing tents on top of every zone and killing 70 animals an hour, then this type of a hunt definitely may be the perfect medium for you where you're technically grinding, but you're also just running around and shooting any of the stuff that you see along the way. As far as I've been able to tell, most of the time, they do uh, always come back here. There doesn't seem to be much areas they can go if you delete their zones, which is honestly good. It'll make it so this will be a fun little grind to do if you don't want to grind the uh, more extreme way with tents and everything. I mean, just look at this. As we keep pushing them up the, uh, or I guess it would be down the river, we can see just tons and tons of them bunching up with all the animals that we've spooked previously. And uh, you will see this take into effect even more the further you get 
because if you keep going clear to the end, it will get to a point where you've pushed all of the animals in this area to this corner and they start running back at you. You can get so many kills so quickly. It's actually pretty insane. And uh, I had that happen on live stream recently and it kind of blew my mind and everybody else's mind. It's literally the Mississippi self drives all over again, but even better. And you know what? While I'm uh, looking at them, let's go ahead and blast these kangaroos. I do want to get some respawns for them as well. This is going to hurt, buddy. I am so sorry. 300 Magnum versus Kangaroo just feels kind of cruel. But you know what? It guarantees that I get them down. And just like that, we got two Kangaroos down. There is our little Sambar Deer 14344. That's honestly not a bad one. Very close to uh, Diamond, but also still a little away from it. I have seen a lot of people getting Sambar Trolls. You know, back in Early Access, I really thought they were going to be an easy Diamond because we managed to get two of them, and both of them were quite a bit above Diamond uh, for the level 5s. So I thought they'd be an easy one. But it does seem like a lot of people are getting Trolls of them as well, so uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, but seems like that's how every species is here on Emerald Coast. Also, I do think this is going to be a multiple part series of exploring our map, and this will uh, just be part one, where we're kind of checking this hotspot, but we are going to do another episode probably soon where we go through a lot of our like uh, more desert area zones over here and look for some kangaroos and feral goats and see if we can find any trophies of those. And we'll probably also do an episode where we go for all the crocodiles and the bantang I think that'd be a lot of fun and maybe eventually we can do a uh, magpie and stubble quail episode. So lots of exploring Emerald Coast episodes to come. It should be quite a fun series to do. Definitely a little bit different than what we normally do when there's a new map. But, you know, I felt like switching it up a little bit this time and just doing a bit of trophy hunting on my own map. Man, already we got more rooster deer in front of us. Unfortunately, the wind is not good. I would recommend not doing what I'm doing and uh, go ahead and switch the time to win. The wind isn't screwing you over. Might be a bit helpful. Because uh, this is definitely going to make it hard to get close to them. We do have some Rusas right there. You know, the first shot we get on a male, we will probably take. But uh, all I see is that female, so... Well, we got a bunch of stubble quail over there that I probably will not be able to get down. But you know what? We're going to try it if we can. Actually... We got a fox over there. I think I would rather go for that. So let's take a long shot at that fox right there. And that is going to be a dead fox. You know what? Maybe we can. There we go. Well, we actually did get ourselves a quail. So that's nice. Let's see what we got here. That is a gray brown level one female. You know, I do like the stubble quail. They're kind of adorable and tiny. And I do think that makes them pretty awesome and unique. I would really love to get an albino one of these days, but we'll see how that goes. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this more casual type of hunt where we're kind of just running around our map and shooting everything that we see and uh, getting a couple trophies along the way even. It's been a lot of fun and it's quite a uh, change up from the normal insane extreme grinding streams we do. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this type of content. And if you do, consider leaving a like and a comment so that I know that you enjoy it. And that way, it'll help me know that I need to make more videos like this. I know that probably so many of you do not like it when uh, content creators are always asking for you to like the video and stuff like that. And I totally get it. It is overdone by quite a bit. but And I totally get it. But there is good reason for a lot of content creators doing that. It's because it's really the only way that we can gauge whether you like the videos or not. There's no other way to possibly know, unless, of course, you guys tell us by leaving a comment or liking the video. That's how we gauge whether or not the video was enjoyable to watch and our audience enjoyed it. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters to me is whether or not you guys enjoy the content. I don't want to be making stuff that nobody wants to watch because that just would not make sense. I've got to be making stuff that you guys love as well as stuff that I love. So if I'm putting out stuff that I love and you guys happen to love it as well, be sure to let me know. That way I know that it's something that you guys want to see more of. Okay, we are getting dangerously close to this corner over here. Things are about to get wild. The question is, when are they going to start running at us? Because uh, there's a lot of tracks along here. 
And I can only imagine we're going to start getting ran at very, very soon. In fact, right there is a level four sandbar deer. Let's just get that guy down really quickly. And there is boxes here as well. And I, I think I heard some stuff over there a second ago also. It's, uh, it's about to get real. Now, I didn't notice as many animals on my map as I had found on a couple of the multiplayer servers. So I guess we probably just didn't get as many animals feeding in this part of the map. Maybe we'll have more below the river because there's a lot of zones there also. I guess we will have to find out. I mean, that's a six Rusadir resting zone. Uh, maybe they were just a little bit further down for me. It looks like we still have an absolute ton of them here. I am very interested to see what ends up running back at us. Oh, yeah, we are pushing so many animals through this area. You guys can already see all of them running off in the distance. Things are about to absolutely go wild. You know what? I just thought of something that will make this much more fun. I'm going to go ahead and drop a tent and get the Glock out. I think that's kind of what has to happen. That is going to make this 10 times more fun. And uh, we'll probably get more animals down using the Glock. So let's find a place we can place this. It's not proving to be easy. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the Glock out. Because it's going to rip through them. There's our level 4. 141. Definitely not a bad one. So as we go, I think I will shoot in the air a little bit. Just to make sure that we get them all pushed down towards the end of the line. I mean, there's a few of them traveling back to us already. There's, oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many animals bunched up. Well, here we go. This is the beginning of everything. Let's remove that waypoint and uh, just get to blasting as they go by us. And here we go. That looks to be vitals. And that is a really small sandbar deer, but we still got full score on it because of that second shot. Now, if we do end up finding any max levels, there is a very high chance that we could screw them up because of how quick all of this is going to start happening. That is two more down. Oh my gosh, we got quail too. We are starting to see a bunch of them go by. Also, what is up with the stubble quail? And being, like, impossible to hit with the iron sights. I really feel like anytime I try to iron sights, they just never die. I mean, there's one. There's a couple over there. Like, I feel like I'm leading them properly, but I can never seem to hit them. To be fair, though, I guess they are a really, really small target and very easy to miss. In fact, I completely passed this one. And that is a uh, gray brown female again. Okay, so I literally just got to be right on them or else we're going to miss them, it seems. I mean, that is a tough target to hit. Just look at that. You don't have much room for error at all. Well, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I didn't even see that one. Oh, no. This could get bad. I forgot to bring a med kit. And that is not good. You know what? Let me see if we can actually just grab a med kit real quick. There we go. All healed and ready to go. Um, It looks like we've got some bugged feral pigs. Are they bug? Yeah, they're definitely bug. Okay, this did happen during the multiplayer session I was in, so this does seem to be a problem with this area. They do seem to get frozen occasionally. So we're gonna just pass on by these guys and go after the rest of them. Can we hit any of them? Finally! Man, those things are so tough to hit. I didn't think they'd be that difficult to hit, but man, they certainly have been. Oh, hello there. 
There is so much going on. I hear wings flapping everywhere. <laughs> I I don't know what to do. Where is all of the animals? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a fox. I, I think we got it. I think we did. Oh no, now we're being ran at by these. I guess the frozen ones unfroze. Yep, they did. Oh my gosh. This is absurd. Oh my gosh, they're coming back at me. This is nuts. I just, that went from zero to a hundred real quick. We already got a heal again. I did not think that they would unfreeze. What's that? That is a small male. Maybe we can get the shot into it, though. I'm going to hope that's vitals, and it looks like it is. The health is going down. And here we go. We got more. That is another one down. This is ridiculous. That just went from 0 to 100 so fast, man. Now, the question is... Is that all we're going to see, or is there going to be more of them? So the question is, is that going to be everything? I unfortunately think that it is. I don't think we got nearly as much as I did on the live stream the other day, but we still ended up getting a good bit of animals to run back at us. I mean, either way, this is still a really good way to get respawns. Just running through this area, shooting whatever you can, and then blasting everything at the very end. It's just a really fun way to not only make a ton of money, but also get a lot of respawns for potential diamonds and rares. And it's a, it's a quite enjoyable way to hunt, in my opinion. There we have another level 3 male pig. We've got a Rusa over there, I believe. And a few other things that we haven't picked up yet. Overall, it was a decently successful hunt, but to think that this was kind of a low number of animals running back at me compared to the other day... That's just insane to think about. We're going to have to do this again in the future. But uh, we definitely had some decent luck doing it this time. And I believe this is the final animal to claim. It's just a female sandbar deer. And uh, that's probably going to be the end of this hunt. So let's jump into the trophy lodge and take a look at those piebald rusa deer. As I am just blown away that we got a second one already. I, I got to see them side by side in the lodge and compare them. Okay, so these are 100% different patterns. Honestly, I like them both. But I'd say the one that we just got looks a little bit better. The one farthest away from us. I think that's my favorite of the two patterns, but they both look really, really good. Um, I believe the one close to us is bigger. Yeah, 118 versus 116. So they're very similar, but also still a little bit different. Hopefully one of these days we can get a 130 plus, that would be pretty stunning, but for now this is definitely going to do. I'm super happy that we got a couple of really nice piebald rusa deer, as these were some of my most wanted trophies on the map. Now we just got to go for that piebald sandbar and all the other rares for the rusa and sandbar. And of course, like literally every other rare for the new species, because as of now this is all we got. This is all we got for the new species rare, is just uh, two rusa deer, which I'm, I'm definitely happy with, but we need to find more. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, leave a like down below and also a comment saying that you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, we'll have more content like this in the near future as a continuation of this series of searching our map. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.